Design families. How was your week? Mine was great. I spent a lot of time outside enjoying this beautiful weather. But I have a question for you this morning. Do you know what this is? Have you ever seen one of these? That's right. It's a highlighter. And highlighters are very important tools. If you're a student and you're in school and you've got stuff that you have to read, you just use a highlighter like this and say you're reading along and you come across something that's important and you go, ooh, I'm gonna highlight that. And then that way, when you're reviewing later, you look at the highlighted parts, it jumps out at you because it's a different color than the rest of the text. And grown-ups use highlighters too. Like we use them to help us remember things. If we've got a whole bunch of documents at work that we've got to look through, we read through them and we highlight the things that we think are important that we want our boss to see. And sometimes when we go to grown-ups go to sign paperwork, it's highlighted already, so they'll say, hey, just sign the highlighted parts. So Highlighters are very important, but I have a question. Have you ever seen anybody highlight their Bible? I mean, I do. Look, I highlight my Bible so that that way, when I'm, when I'm reading along and I have come across a verse that I think is really special and it speaks to me and I want to remember it, I just highlight it. And then that way, when I'm flipping through my Bible later, the highlighted points, I usually always stop and read and see what, what was so interesting to me at another point. But you know... There's another way you can highlight scripture. It's like highlighting scripture in your heart, and that is to memorize scripture. Now I know memorizing scripture can be really hard, but it's a really great thing to have because let's say that you're feeling really down. Well, if you have scripture memorized about joy, you can say that scripture out loud, and it reminds you to be joyful. Or maybe you've got a friend at school and that friend is going through a really hard time, if you have verses memorized, you can just bring out a verse about encouragement. Or let's say mm, your friends are pressuring you to do something you know you shouldn't do, so you're being tempted. You can recall a verse about standing strong with God. Now, I know a lot of people and they say, you know, I don't think there's really a reason to memorize scripture, Miss Jenny, because, well, if I need scripture, I'll just go get my Bible and look it up. And that is true, you can do that. But what happens when you're feeling scared or alone or sad and you're at school and your Bible's at home under your bed? It's not going to do you much good then. So I'm just saying you, you memorize scripture so that then you can recall it at any time, no matter where you are. Now, obviously, when you're scared or alone, you can pray to God and he will hear you and that will offer you some comfort. But there's something really powerful about hearing God's word when you're scared or alone or afraid or struggling. Any type of situation. So I want you to consider a story for a second. Now this story takes place right after Jesus was baptized. And he goes out into the wilderness and he's spending 40 days in the wilderness. And he's not eating and he's not drinking. He's just praying and communing with God. And towards the end of it, Satan shows up. And Satan tries to tempt Jesus. And he says, hey, hey, Jesus, I know you're hungry. I mean, you've been out here for 40 days. I'm paraphrasing here. You've been out here for 40 days. You've got to be hungry. If you're really God's son, hey, why don't you look at those rocks over there and turn them into loaves of bread. And then you can eat. Problem solved. And Jesus says, nope, it is not bread that pe keeps people alive. Their lives depend on what God says. Quoted straight from scripture. Well, then Jesus kind of tells Satan to go away. Satan comes back, and he takes Jesus all the way up to the top of the temple. And he says, hey, Jesus, I'm just saying, if you're really that important to God, throw yourself off of this temple, and he'll send his angels to save you. And Jesus looks at Satan, and he says, no, Scripture says it is not right to test your Lord our God. <sighs> Now Satan's exasperated. So he takes Jesus to a hilltop. And they're looking out over the hill and they can see for miles and miles. And Satan says, hey, if you bow down and worship me, Jesus, I'll give you everything you can see. And Jesus, once again, he quotes, he quotes scripture and he says, it is only right to serve one God. Satan gets mad and Satan goes away. Well, as soon as Satan goes away, all of God's angels come in and they flock to Jesus and they start taking care of him. But the point of the story is that everything Satan threw at Jesus, Jesus responded to him with scripture. It was God's word that kept him strong. 
And that is what I want for you. I want you to have scripture highlighted in your heart so that whatever you're faced with, whatever situation, you can easily recall God's word. God's word of peace and joy and comfort and encouragement and strength, whatever situation you're facing, you can easily recall them if you have them highlighted on your heart or memorized. Now, one last story. So my daughter, my oldest daughter, Maddie, is terrified of roller coasters. We did not know that when she was little. So we stood in line at Six Flags and we waited and we waited and we waited. And finally, it was our turn. So we got into the to the roller coaster and we strapped ourselves in and she was in the car behind me because all of us were kind of, all six of us couldn't fit on one row. So she was behind us and we were strapped in and all of a sudden the, the roller coaster starts going click, 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 click. And it's going up and up and up and up the hill. And I'm like, woohoo, this is so fun because I love roller coasters. And then from behind me, I start here in this little bitty voice, Jesus loves me, this I know. And I'm like, what? What is that? And then the higher we go, the louder it gets. Jesus loves me. A little panicked. And I realized it was Maddie. And I turned around and I said, Maddie, what are you doing? She said, Mom, I can't remember any scripture about being afraid. That is the moment I knew that it is very important to have scripture memorized, highlighted in your heart, so you could recall it at any time. So this week, I want to challenge you. I want you to look through your Bible, read through it, find a verse that speaks to you, and then highlight it on your heart. And by that, I mean memorize it. Memorize that scripture and tape yourself, video yourself saying that scripture and telling me when you would use that scripture. Like, I think this scripture would be great when I'm afraid. This is the scripture that I've memorized. And tell me the scripture. If you do that and you send it to me, I'll send you a surprise this week. All right, let's pray. Amazing God, thank you for giving us your holy word through the Bible. And as we begin to read it and study it and memorize it, give us opportunities to actually use your words to help those around us. Bless every child, every marriage, and every household hearing this message. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you stay safe this week. I will see you next week. But get busy highlighting your heart.